A boat travels 48 kilometers upstream, 162 kilometers downstream, and takes 15 hours. It takes 16 hours to cover a total distance. Boat travels 72 kilometers upstream, 126 kilometers downstream. Then find the speed of the boat in still water. See if you try to solve this question using traditional method or by using formula. It takes a lot of time, at least 10 to 15 minutes. That is guaranteed. Now for these type of questions, there is a logic. I will write distance covered in upstream, distance covered in downstream and the time taken. Okay. How many cases we have? Two cases. First case, in upstream, 48 kilometers covered, downstream, 162 kilometers covered time, 15 hours. And second case, it takes 16 hours to cover 72 kilometers upstream, 126 kilometers downstream. So now, what happened to upstream distance and downstream distance among these two cases? Let's identify. Upstream, what happened to distance? Increased by 24. And what happened to downstream? Decreased by 36. Correct. Now, what happened to time? Increased by 1 hour. Using this relation, relation is, what I mean to re, relation is upstream increased by 24 kilometers, downstream decreased by 36 kilometers, and time increased by 1 hour. Using this relation, I want to make distance covered in either upstream or downstream 0. We have to make it 0. Suppose if you want to make it 0, from 126, how much should be subtracted? 126, correct. But what is the difference here? Is 126 direct multiple of 36? So I don't want to make downstream 0. I want to make upstream distance 0. That means it should come here only. From 48, how much should be subtracted? Which is how many times of 24? Come on. So when you are taking two times of the distance in upstream, downstream also two times you have to take, time also two times you have to take, correct. So exact reverse approach we are going, right? Come on. Onward direction, reverse direction. If it is onward direction, we have to add distance in upstream, subtract distance in downstream, add time in, add time, correct. When you are going for reverse approach, here we have to subtract. 48 kilometers, here we have to add 72 kilometers, here time we have to subtract 2 hours, are you getting? When you add 72 to this fellow, it becomes 234, when you subtract 2 hours from 15, come on, now observe first case, which is in yellow color, 0 kilometers covered in upstream, in downstream, 234. And how much time is it taking? That means downstream speed is equal to 234 divided by 13, which is equal to 18 kilometer per hour. Correct? Now, use this fellow either in second line or in the third line. It's up to you. I'll use it in third line. Okay? To cover 126 kilometers with a speed 18 kilometer per hour, how much time it will take? But total time is 16 hours. That means to cover 72 kilometers, it takes 9 hours only. With this, upstream speed is equal to 72 by 9, which is 8 kilometer per hour. And what exactly is your question? Man speed in still water which is downstream plus upstream by 2, that is 26 by 2, answer 13. Is this clear? If you want to solve this question using traditional method, how usually generally people do is, 48 by x, 162 by y, where x and y are upstream speed and then downstream speed, which is equal to 15. Then, 
सेवेंटी टू बाई एक्स प्लस वन ट्वेंटी सिक्स बाई वाई इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी नाउ आई विल ट्रीट सी इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सॉल्व दीज टू क्वेश्चन एज इट इज इट टेक्स अगेन लॉट ऑफ टाइम सो वॉट आई विल डू इज ट्रीट वन बाई एक्स एज ए एंड वन बाई वाई एज बी देन इट बिकम्स फोर्टी एट ए प्लस वन सिक्सटी टू बी सेवेंटी टू ए प्लस वन ट्वेंटी सिक्स बी विच इज फिफ्टीन एंड देन सिक्सटीन सॉल्विंग दीज टू इक्वेशन इज ईजी बेटर देन दिस करेक्ट ना आफ्टर दिस यूल गेट ए वैल्यू एंड देन बी वैल्यू विच इज वन बाई एक्स एंड वन बाई वाई फ्रॉम दिस वी कैन कैलकुलेट एक्स वैल्यू एंड देन वाई वैल्यू आफ्टर दिस वेन यू Add and then divide it by two. Then you will get m because x is upstream speed and y is downstream. Takes a lot of time. 